Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to Cajun Living. I'm Cody. I'm Christina. Today, we uh been gone for two weeks on my job, and today we're going to go plant some curly kale and some uh, butter crunch lettuce. We had picked it up while we were on the road, but little did we know, the ones we had planted here done great. First, let's go check on our chickens. We had my uh, daughter come in here, taking care of the animals while we were gone. We lost little turkey though. But I'm about to build that John Jaskovic's chicken tractor. Ain't nothing gonna get in there at the end. There's no eggs. No eggs? Nope. Now that's crazy. I see. All right, guys, look like the chickens are doing good today. Uh, look like we lost a couple eggs. No big deal, but I hope they don't start eating their eggs or we'll have to do something about that. But we got here some butter crunch lettuce and some curly leaf kale. We got this from a, a feed store. It don't look like they were taking too good care of it, but we're going to see if we can bring it back to life. And here's the romaine that we had planted, some romaine lettuce, some butter crunch lettuce. And like I said, if I'd have known these were doing so good, I wouldn't have even bought it. Got some more lettuce here. And I don't remember if this is uh, 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 Brussels sprouts or cauliflower, but either way. All right, guys, we're going to plant the kale right here. We had planted some beets right here, but only a couple of them came up. But we got some more beets over there that's doing real good, so I don't know why... They're not coming up right here. We must have planted beets right here five times. Mm -hmm. But they came up over there. Beautiful. So we're going to rework this row and plant the kale right here. All right, guys, we got our curly leaf kale here. She looks sick, but once she gets in this ground, we're going to give her a little fertilize. Should do better. We're going to try. So all we can do is try. We work, reworked our row here. about a foot apart we got some uh i think they call it russian kale doing real good that we planted from seed but this seems to be my favorite And guys, I always save my little trays. 
could always use them. Start use some seed. Yep, always save your little trays. I like these. These got some big sales. These look the sickest. Well, we'll try to bring life back into them. Red, you're noisy. away that I don't have room for my mother-in-law and father-in-law. Whoa! They all coming out. Yeah. They're in a hurry to get into this pretty ground. Mm. Wait, you... Oh! Got two in it. Either tear them apart or break one off. And this is all butter crunch. They don't look too good right now, but like he said, we bought them at a feed store the other day and they were in a truck with us for a couple of days, so we're gonna try to bring them back to life. Not too bad. A little below 60, about 59. Now, I hope to be an organic farmer one day, but I'm not. I've used Miracle Grow all my life, so I don't know. It's all I know. But I would like to practice the no till method. And the one good thing, this is rainwater. Something about rainwater does so much better. Kind of hard pouring this five gallon bucket and holding the camera. But I do minimize the poison I use. Yeah, let's hope it comes back to life. There's something about growing a garden that just brings peace to your soul. I know it does mine. And this year, I'm growing a lot of things I've never grew before. The only thing I ever grew in the fall and winter was turnips, mustard greens, and cabbage. Well, we grew some lettuce last year, but it got all moldy. But we didn't have them on no rows. So I'm going to give you a little update on the garden, guys. We got right here some green arrow sweet peas. But look at this. I don't have too much faith in them. Look how small the stalk is compared to up here. We had a very, very bad rainstorm. 
And that's what I think did it. And right here is some Cheers cabbage that I planted from seed. They seem to be doing great. I've got some weeding I need to do. So, and these cabbages here are a little older. By a few weeks, they're starting to make their head. Looking very good, very good. And right here we have some turnips, guys. And man, the rain just keeps beating up everything we have here. We have real wet falls. So, but this is our turnips. I got them thinned out pretty good. I got a lot of thinning I got to do here, guys, with the carrots. And right here is some Chinese cabbage that I don't even remember planting. But I guess I did. And like I said, I threw all kind of seeds in here. I don't remember what this is. And this is our beets. Uh, this is the cylinder, cylinder beets. And they came up good. But what I don't understand, we planted some beets right there where we just planted that kale. And for some reason, it's never came up right there. But they come up right here, so I'm happy with that. And right here we have some Denver carrots. Like I said, guys, I got a lot of weeding I need to do, which we're going to get to here pretty soon. But yeah, I got some Denver carrots here. I got the purple elite carrots here. And I forget the name of these, but they're the little short heirloom carrots. They seem to be doing well. We have some spinach. And we got a little row right here of some mustard greens. Oh, ain't nothing like some mustard greens and some cornbread. Swiss chard. I've never planted, never ate it. I'm uh, kind of excited to try it. Got a different kind of spinach here. Forget the name of it. We have some cherry red radish. Wait, no. The cherry red is here. Yeah, look at this. This is the cherry red radish. And this is going to be that white radish. Peppered in a couple of these purple cabbage. Just to give the garden some color for in the winter when everything's brown. Right here we got some uh, salad mix. Some leaf salad. Lettuce. And right here... Is the one I think I'm most excited of trying is Calendria. It's a beautiful flower, it's supposed to be a real good herb. And last but not least, we have our onions. We've been excited to finally grow us some onions. We got this whole row here. Three different varieties. Uh short day onions, because we're in Louisiana. So we got some thinning, we got some weeding, guys. We got to weed this whole garden. So, guys, that's our garden there. Uh, the wife's been saying we ought to use some of that black plastic to put down. I'm of the mindset that I don't like spending all that money on trying to grow food. If I'm going to grow food, I want it to be cheap, right? Cheap food, organic food. But have y'all ever used it? Y'all tell me what y'all think. I've heard stories when I was younger that uh, it attracts the bugs. It rots the roots because too much moisture stays under there. So if y'all have any experience in using that, let me know. Leave a comment down below.